Somebody let me know what this shit was like. Alright, clap it up. Let's do this. How we living? What's up? How you doing? My name is Hero. This is Coding with Strangers. And I want to ask a question. Whatever happened to Devin? Do y'all miss Devin? Remember when Devin was on the up and up? Everybody was saying, don't learn how to program. This and that. This and that. You don't need it. You don't want it. We got some more of it. Before we cover this article, I felt it was appropriate. We, we figure out what happened to Devin. Short article here from Medium. Devin AI platform billed as the breakthrough AI software engineer has been involved in a recent disagreement. However, it claims powers have been called into question due to the acquisition and deception made by its investors, inventors. You know, it doesn't take AI to realize that AI probably isn't what it's hopped up to be. And that if someone who's responsible for selling ink says that you no longer need to know how to draw because printers are going to take your job, there's a strong likelihood that's a bias-based incentive. That's a, that's a business term I learned at work. But in the rare occasion that you manage to fool enough people, the best compliment you can get, whether it works, your product works or not, is for one of your competitors to think that they can get it to work. Therefore, just validating your effort. Oh, we weren't, we weren't the best. See, what's it called? Had the same problem we have. Let's see who else thinks that they can replace programmers. AWS App Studio promises to generate enterprise apps from written prompts. Where have we heard that before? Who said this? Ron Miller. That sounds like a a bow chicka bow wow type name. Brought this to us. I finally got one today today. 9.30. Today today. Hooray hooray. Generative AI is everywhere these days, but Amazon Web Services has been perceived um, perceived in some circles as being late to the game. Damn. Would you call them late? I don't know if Amazon is has a business model, a business need for it. Hmm, that's a great question. In reality, it's still early. The market is still shaking out. On Wednesday, AWS might have raised the generative AI street cred <laughs> with a new tool called App Studio. App Studio promised to help you create an enterprise software application from a written prompt. That's correct. You simply describe the program you want, and AWS says it will write the code for you without the need for any professional developers. Uh, you, the, you know uh, that this just the, hearing this made my ass itch immediately. Like you, any enterprise. What if I want to have an enterprise that involves 32, accepting 32 vendors with a refresh rate that also metabolizes data, pushes it and pulls it, and also allow what? Well, how would you write that in a prompt? It's the hubris for me. App Studio for, is for technical folks who have technical expertise but are not professional developers, and we're enable and and we're enabling them to build enterprise grade apps. Shiram Devant Deveth, I'm gonna just say SD, I don't know how to say that name. GM of Amazon Q app and AWS Studio told TechCrunch. Amazon defines enterprise apps as having multiple UI pages with the ability to pull from multiple data sources, perform complex operations like join and filter. You mean sort those queries? The six most basic queries. If you work in t in a technical field, these are not. That's not hard. That's not a challenge. What? Yeah. If you're if you, if you're technical, then yeah. It's, there's nothing complex about this. Uh, embedding business logic into them. You know what this is? This is just ChatGPT as a wrapper for mother loving Wix Studio. You get one of those very generic websites. You put in your colors, so on and so forth. It is aimed at IT professionals, data engineers, and enterprise architects, even product managers who might lack coding skills but have the re re 
requisites company knowledge to understand what kind of internal software application they might need. The company is hoping to enable these employees to build applications by describing the application they need and the data source they wish to use. This is not going to work the way they think it's going to work. This is this is going to be a painful exchange. I can't wait to check back in, in three months to see what happened here. Examples of the type of applications include inventory tracking systems or claims approval process. The user starts by entering the name of the application, calling the data source, and then describing the application they want to build. The system comes with some sample prompts uh, yeah see it's an assembly line it's the subway it's the subway thing i've seen this before is one of where i've seen this because we do this at our job we give our vendors the illusion of choice by saying hey look you know how like you say you want this in your dashboard you want that in your dashboard but you got to call us first before you do it well now we're going to give you this 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 dashboard selector the subway line and we're going to go down the whole entire list of everything that's going to go into your uh, your situation and you could tell us specifically what you want and what you don't want in your in your app and when the ones you click on click off the next day when you show up they'll be on or off and they thought that this was all the rage but it was simply for us if they click on this button turn this filter on and off and just make sure that if there's any like conflicting differentials we account for those the system comes with some sample prompts blah 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 and then it then builds a list of re requisites just like I said for the application and what it will be do based on the description the user can refine these requisites like I just said <laughs> interacting with generative AI Oh man, what a fucking buzzword. In the ways that is not unlike a lot of no code tools that precedes it. But uh, SD says it is different. Doesn't look different. Where App Studio is different in the way that Gen AI really reduce your learning curve, I'd say that it's almost no learning curve. The typical no code tools you have to understand paradigm you have to understand the visual interface you you kind of have to really over time build some ex expertise he says once the application is complete it goes through a mini devops pipeline where it can be tested before going into production in terms of identity security governance and other requirements an enterprise would have would have for applications be being deployed the administer administrator can link to existing systems when setting up app studio when it gets deployed aws handles all of that on the back end for customers based in on the information entered by the admin, admin. app studio uses multiple models learning running on amazon's bedrock including amazon titan and anthropic depending on the job according to SD app studios available in preview starting Wednesday which was today so there we have it the Devin the Devin replacer but anybody who works in any technical field remotely has seen this before um, I'm almost sure almost all teams have built an automation like this and this automation is a time saver for those very needy clients who want to make requests and changes every two weeks or so it seems and this gives them the ability to click on it and make changes and only in to involve our the product team when something doesn't work accordingly but it should always work accordingly as long as you know you follow the prompts in those sheets and what we used to give them is a, a, a an super active uh, SharePoint link where they would turn things on and off and those SharePoint links would send commands out to the automation to when it runs every day at 4 a.m. to fix the automation and make the page available. And then I think at, even at one, we for the first two months, 
we had someone visually look at it before the automation after it made the subway sandwich and the subway example is like you know you're always going to start off with the bread get some pickle lettuce tomato olives if you're an animal and so on and so forth but like to good on you know good on google or not google amazon for remarketing and re re reimagining the simple automation tool but the deception and deceit is in the pudding, calling it an advanced thing. And it makes me wonder, does Ron, the writer, is this person a tech writer? Does he know how simple this process is? And that that is not really AI. It's just automation prompts over automation prompts for designed with the relational database and maybe wrapped over wrapped over Wix Studio. To call just to call it something that is that technical is very shocking to me, but it's to be expected. Uh, Amazon probably feels the heat for not having any major announcements, and since and since it's only focused on making web like enterprise apps, that kind of limits this scope. Uh, you can't make a video game with this. You can't make an art studio you probably can't make a lot of basic tutorial tutorialized projects this is strictly for dashboard manipulations and admin controls i believe and i think the person who would benefit the most from this isn't a programmer it's a it's a non-tech company it's a it's a non-technical person who doesn't want to hire a technical person to make something that would better align with them because there's no version of this that's going to be better the, whatever you're paying to have access to this server service you can get better from someone in in the chat in this comment section you know so it's one of those things where it's just like do we have a plan of action here um it does this really need to replace somebody who could do a more personalized touch and also create this same very system so that you get a more consistent feel and vibe of your website from from overline because boring websites are just that boring and uh, you won't get much creativity versus a color swap and maybe some highlight difference differentials truly making a website feel personable comes with a personable touch so automations like this tend to just wring the life out of people but we'll see what happens I just got sent flowers to Devin's funeral I did if you want to pay me back for that hit up my Patreon like share and subscribe